What's that old phrase encouraging optimism? When life gives you lemons. Probably shouldn't be doing that. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> uh, Kevin O'Donnell here. Welcome to another Behind the Door adventure. Uh, we stopped today uh, in Bailey's Harbor at a place called Wasita Farms, which is a organic farm, everything about this place. It's a really wonderful place to visit, and the meat here is incredible. The butcher here is incredible. Certified Black Angus organic, wonderful. Anyway, on their property, they have this beautiful old schoolhouse. This is Kangaroo Lake Schoolhouse, built in 1880. And uh, it was used, I think, up until about 1920 as a schoolhouse. There's even a little bedroom area back here where the teacher could sleep. Lived here, worked here. Anyway, we stopped here to pick up some certified uh, vegetables and Door County mustard and uh, some beef. And we're actually on our way up to Newport State Park because tonight they are expecting Northern Lights to fire off. And Newport State Park is the only international, certified international dark sky location in the state of Wisconsin. And Newport Park itself is, State Park is a, a wilderness park, the only wilderness state park in the state of Wisconsin. So it's, it's rough camping and uh, there's no development there. And so as a result, it's probably the least visited state park out of the, um, all the state parks here in Door County. But we're going there because it's got a wonderful view to the east of Lake Michigan and also to the north because it's at the northern tip of the peninsula. So that's where we're hoping to catch the northern lights tonight. And I'm going to meet up with some friends uh, up there this evening. Uh, a good friend, uh, somebody you've met in a previous video, uh, Officer Square Nuts. Yeah, Andrew Crabb. Uh, he's going to meet me up there as well as another fellow photographer, a fine, fantastic landscape photographer by the name of Josh Merrill coming up from Northern Illinois. So he's got a long drive. He's got about a five hour drive to get there. Uh, but the three of us are, are going to socially distance safely out at the beach at Newport. And hopefully, hopefully the uh, Northern lights will fire off. So I guess we best get on our way. I just thought this would be a lovely location to introduce the video. Still have about a half hour drive to go and hopefully with any luck we'll capture the northern lights tonight. How you doing? 9153. You look delicious.
I don't know guys, it's not looking too promising. It's clouding over. It said it was calling for uh, it was calling for clear skies tonight. And for it to warm up, but uh, I see some ice on the branches of the shrubs and the edge of the water there and it's kind of clouding over here now. This could be a long way to go for nothing. <laughs> It's an hour drive here from my place, and uh, at least I'll have a couple of photograph buddies with me, Josh and Andrew. So, if nothing else, it'll be good company, because none of us have had a chance to go out in a long time because of, you know, everybody having to stay at home because of the pandemic. So, yeah, but I think I should have a plan B, and uh, I don't know what that plan B would be. There isn't a whole lot to photograph here. You know, you have the lake out in front of you here, and uh, tons of sky <laughs> from uh, north to south here. So I don't know what the plan B would be. But, uh, I'll tell you one thing, it wouldn't be this. I hate this. Why people feel compelled to build these monuments. I don't get it. All they do is clutter up the beach. There's a few of them along here. I don't know what their intent is. It's the same with the stone cairns. So they take the limestone rocks and build these cairns on the beach that uh, are now outlawed in all the state parks and county parks here in Door County because they disturb the shoreline aquatic life and uh, the uh, microorganisms and ecosystems on the beach, so but people still do it. Willful ignorance. I don't get it. All right, well, maybe a little bit more walk along this beach here. See if we can't find an alternative to photograph tonight. So I walked as far as I could along the shore there to the north uh, before I started hitting bluff. And I really didn't see anything to photograph if the northern lights tonight don't fire off, which would be in this direction here. That's that's north. So I don't know. Could be a big bust. At least the company will be good. We have this immense open space here looking off to the east. Next landfall is the Leelanau Peninsula, that way, Traverse City and all of that. About 90 miles off. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a beautiful place to watch the Milky Way. I've uh, gone out here for meteor showers before. It really is dark. I think it's a Bortle Class 1 or 1.5. It's very dark. But the Milky Way is going to be going almost directly overhead this time of year. And the core of the Milky Way, of course, this time of year is below the horizon. You won't even see that. You might see a little bit of the rift here. Uh, of course, we won't see nothing at all if the skies don't clear and the lake, it would be nice if the lake settled some. And uh, it's supposed to clear. All the weather apps I've looked at say it's going to clear. And the winds are going to die down. So there might be a shot there. It'd be nice to have something in the foreground though.
See, now this looks interesting to me. <laughs> Passed this earlier coming down here, and I didn't give it a second thought. But this is looking dewy. It's supposed to warm up, and if that ice melts, which would be great, and the lake settles down, this could be an interesting shot. You get plenty of sky here. Orion and Gemini, they'll be, they'll be out tonight. Clear skies, hopefully. And, uh, well, this might be a consolation prize. I also have a, a new filter from Case called the Starglow filter. And uh, I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. So maybe some experimenting with that. Because I really don't see anything else. So, all right, we'll see. <laughs> I remember walking away that afternoon, mentally preparing myself for a night of disappointment and frustration, as the projections for witnessing the aurora grew ever more capricious throughout the day and the weather <laughs> showed a little sign of cooperating. But I would not come away discouraged, and that night would reveal a different and intimate secret. Plan B. in silent amazement, grateful to witness and capture the night's magic in all of its magnitude, in all of its simplicity, and how that one obscure little willow tree that a few hours earlier I had dismissed stood boldly and defiant against the universe seemed somehow poignant for these times. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and we'll see you down the road.